Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. In order to do that, we have to be employed. We are either employed by an organization or we are self-employed, developing our own business. When we are doing our own business, we are totally in charge of our own time. Our free time is what we do with things that might be for us sublime. For me, it was family time with my actual family of choice. I chose my schedule, I put together my own clients, and I led my life in a way that made me feel right for my family at the time when they needed me the most. I used to travel the nation doing a lot of photography, but after traveling to 72 cities in basically 52 weeks of the year, it was a little bit tiring. It was also tiring to have someone scheduling me there, promising me I'd arrive at certain times when the plane didn't even get off that runway until that time. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I decided to bring myself back home to be closer to my spouse and more available to my son, and that is what a father does. When someone is in charge of their children, they are in charge, and they say, hey, look, these are the household rules, and this is what I'm expecting until you're able to provide for yourself and live on your own. Some kids go off, and they make college roommates, or they make college sweethearts, or they do whatever they like in life, but it's amazing what people will try to do to a full-on adult in this world that it doesn't belong to them at all. They will pretend to be something they're not to them. They will act as though they have rights to them. They will assess their own lives. Not at all. They will basically sit there and judge other people. But here's the problem. When you start to play with someone, when you start to interact with them on an intimate level of conversation, when you start to discuss topics of true intimacy, child rearing, sexuality, toys, and other things like, well, other boys, and I mean that in terms of how women often will talk about other men to try to see if the man they're with is interested in them. It's sort of immoral, and yet it's sort of logical because it's what girls do. But in life, we have to be performing not for you. We perform in life for the Lord above. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you to really think about your love. What is your love saying to people? What is your love communicating to people? I just watched an elderly parent walking down the sidewalk rather gingerly looking to her child or her son or her care provider. It was hard to tell exactly what it was, but I think it was a son based on how he was behaving who was not willing to give his blatant elderly mother an arm. I was pretty fucking offended. I wanted to get up and help her down the, the, the walkway myself. But I also knew that the big putts would probably make a big ass of himself. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the elderly of America are the ones that are often amiss, uh, seen and abused. And what we're talking about today is not just the time of COVID when people need to get shots and get on their way. What we're talking about is how the federal government is trying to require us to put a foreign substance in our bodies. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me when people get flu shots. But here's what I can say. I am responsible solely for my health. You are never in this lifetime responsible for my medical health. Under no circumstances am I asking you to discuss my health with me. I had late siblings who often tried to ask those questions. I thought, fuck you. You never discussed that with me. Why the hell should I be discussing my life and my health with you? And you've monkeyed that. You've lied about that. You've lied about your rights to even talk about that. You've destroyed our relationship practically over that. So let's be really clear. You made a choice not to live your life. You made a choice to interfere with someone's life. You made a choice to lie, steal, and cheat, and you just thought Jesus was in you? I think not. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is, if you're trying to help someone, you actually walk up and say, hey, I think you might be in struggle today, or I'm just wondering if you're in struggle today, and if there's anything that me, my finances, my resources, my social networks could possibly do for you today, on this day, I'm wondering what might work for you. I'm wondering what I could do for you today or literally in a couple days if it takes a little bit more time than I think it should. You see, acting today is what people need people to do. Acting in this moment and giving people moments in time that are special and unique is what people often do. I am someone who believes in making long-term relationships. And long-term relationships, regardless whether they're new or they're old, have ups and downs. It's a part of the growing process. It's a part of the communication process. It's a part of the learning process about other people and what their needs are, what their emotional content is requiring, and openly what they absolutely need 
trafficked in order to be psychologically sound in the world today and spiritually healthy in a world that's gone so far away from God it's not even funny. In life we have moments of time to speak fact and the fact is if you're interfering with someone's life you are not doing your life. You are literally thinking you're in control of someone's life and that's a lie you're telling yourself. We have a lot of young people that are lying to themselves about their rights to solicit total strangers. And the question is what's your end game? What's the goal you're trying to achieve? What is the purpose of you standing 10 feet away from me when there's an entire block of this vending spot that would allow you to be able to do things for you without interfering with me doing things for me? And that's the funny part about life today, that people want to interfere without thinking about their rights is not true, that they don't often think about where their rights begin and end is true. When a person is doing recordings, they don't need people plying in, they don't need people buying in, they don't need people interfering in their life. The lies that these people tell themselves are out of control. You have your life. Do your life. Your job, your work does not involve other people's lives without their consent, without their permission. That is the rules of the world. If you try to move yourself into someone's space, you're going to really end up in disgrace. You disgrace yourself when you interfere with someone's life. You debase yourself when you interfere with someone's livelihood. You ruin yourself when you commit cybercrime. You destroy yourself when you com commit copyright infringement. And you totally deplete your entire blessings that God might provide to you because, well, you're just not bleeding enough for God is not true. You're not bleeding enough for your life. You need to focus on your life. You need to focus on putting you in life balance. You in life balance is what we're talking about today. You in life balance is faith, family, fi fitness, finance, fun, fellowship, philanthropy. Somewhere in there, there might even be a friendship. But the reality is if you're not working on life balance, you're not doing your life at all. You're lying to yourself. If you're trying to focus on someone else's life, if you're trying to school them in life, if you're trying to give them an education life, let me ask you. Under what grounds did you earn the right to do that? 